Without human compassion, no knowledge is meaningful. The practice of medicine is a perfectly good example where compassion is an absolute ingredient. About 90 years ago, we probably had 90% compassion and 10% knowledge. There wasn't much knowledge to apply. Now there's so much knowledge to apply, there's almost no time for compassion. Because knowledge without compassion is meaningless. He inspired hope. He brought change. He worked tirelessly to create a better world creating a vaccine that would go on to become legend and declining to patent it. 2,000 cases of paralytic polio in the United States, if they can be prevented, are 2,000 cases too many. In 1959, we had over 6,000. There is no irreducible minimum, sir. I disagree with that. And I think the irreducible minimum is no polio cases at all. He was Dr. Albert Sabin. His selfless contributions that transformed our lives would go on to inspire and reward those bold enough to put in the work of helping others and led to the creation of the Sabin Vaccine Institute. Dr. Sabin was a man who led a life of service to science, but also to humanity. It's this legacy, one of scientific impact and humanitarian spirit that the Albert B. Sabin Gold Medal celebrates. By acknowledging other pioneers and innovators in the field of vaccinology and immunology, the Gold Medal and Rising Star Awards recognize scientists for their extraordinary contributions to the field of vaccinology. And if you look at some of the previous winners, it's a who's who of people who've made great contributions to the field in the last 50 years. I was in a state of disbelief at receiving the award because of the giants who've received it in the past, tremendously meaningful from a personal point of view, to be in the same sentence with Albert Sabin. Each of them has transformed the world and saved lives. The award stands for determination, recognizing the endless hours spent pursuing a solution, alone and as a team, pushing through barriers and late, late nights. Getting that research funding is extremely difficult. So having an award is very exciting. It makes you think that people really do care that you're working hard on discovering things. It's nice to be recognized for the work, but the, the reward wasn't the award, obviously. The reward was that we were able to create something which was recommended for all children in this country in 2006, for all children in the world in 2013, to try and prevent a virus that, you know, that killed as many as 500,000 children every year. What vaccines really can do is part of the reason why myself and many others are so passionate about, because you prevent diseases in the first place. You can even potentially eradicate diseases, as we have seen with smallpox. They stand for hope. Innovative, passionate, service-oriented, and humble, these scientists have dedicated their lives to finding a vaccine for diseases that afflict some of the most vulnerable among us. When I started my career in 1970, it was the most dreaded disease for any pediatrician or any parent. Once we introduced the vaccine and got it licensed, the disease pretty much disappeared in the U.S. But the tragedy was, most of the deaths were occurring in the poorest countries, and they didn't have access to vaccine. So I spent my career working on getting Haemophilus influenzae type B disease vaccines into the rest of the world. So the Sabin uh, Vaccine Institute, through its gold medals, has really uh, created a, uh, a cover that exemplifies how, how broad the field of vaccinology is. Through their collective efforts as researchers, scientists, and leaders, they have played an outsized role in advancing vaccine equity. That spark ignites the next generation of scientists and Sabin's Rising Star Award celebrates the achievements of tomorrow's pioneers. I know that what I do in my little corner in Dirande has the potential for global impact. It might look like vaccinating one child here, 
but the results of that study will show the country that they can use a vaccine, you show the continent they can use a vaccine, and it goes on from there that our research that we generate here could affect somebody somewhere else in the world. These recipients are a testament to what can be done despite all the odds, serving as continual reminders of the sanctity of our organizational mission to extend the benefits of immunization to all.